Trying to bring your body and your mind together right here at the breath. Bring them into alignment. The body's here, so keep the mind right here too. As for the breath, try to make it as comfortable as you can. You can try experimenting for a while to see what long breathing feels like or short breathing. Fast, slow, heavy, light. See what feels best for the body right now. And that's what will happen at the end of the meditation and down the line in the meditation. You don't have to anticipate it. Just stay right here. It's in doing the practice that the goal is attained, not by second-guessing the practice or running back and forth, anticipating what's going to be further down. Stay right here. Keep things in alignment. So when the body and the mind are in alignment like this, that they can help each other. The mind is watching over the body to make sure that the breath energies flow well in the different parts. And the body gives the mind a good place to stay, so it's not running around trying to get into this thought world and finding that it pops just like a bubble. We're constantly blowing bubbles like this and getting into them and then find that they pop. We have to go running back, back and forth, back and forth. Just stay right here. Keep things in alignment. Keep things in harmony. It's when the mind and the body are in harmony. That's when they both gain strength. It's like the world outside. If we can live in a harmonious way, society can be strong. People are encouraged to help one another and find that it really is useful being with one another. It's when society is at everybody's at everybody else's throats. You don't want to live in society at all. You want to run off into the woods, be alone. But then, of course, what are you faced with? You're faced with your own defilements. So if we want to live in harmony, we have to learn how to listen to one another, make accommodations for one another in the same way that the mind and the body have to make accommodations for each other. As the mind settles down, you want to make sure you don't put too much of a squeeze on your nerves, a squeeze on the blood vessels in the body. And then the body will respond in a good way. Otherwise, it gets tight and unpleasant, and then it makes it difficult for the mind to stay here. So learn some harmony, learn some alignment here. Otherwise, this, the body takes three steps down the road, the mind goes running back and forth several times already. No wonder the mind gets tired. The body takes three steps, the mind takes three steps. The body sits, the mind sits. The body lies down, the mind lies down. Have it be like that. Have them work together rather than at cross purposes. And you find that you can accomplish a lot more 